Hi, good morning everybody. Um, welcome to my channel. To those that don't know me, my name is Sherelle. Um, and if you continue watching, would you please like and subscribe at the end? It does help me a lot. And if you feel like making a comment, it'll be great. So without further ado, I am going to reveal the secret. And if you keep watching, you are going to see what I'm going to be doing to the chateau. So enjoy. We have the guys coming down to do the final testing of the soil for the septic tank. And then we start on the 19th of September. Everything's going to go in. They'll be here for three weeks doing everything they need to do. And then it'll be finished. Then I can get some sort, some sort of normality around here. So quite excited. Well, cleaning out the library, under all the mess there, I found this beautiful table and it's got a drawer on the side. Let's just see. So another one here that I have found. Where's the drawer? Here's the drawer. Wow, that is really pretty. I'm gonna polish it up clean it up and put it in the salon which is the lounge hi guys morning i um the carpenter's just arrived and i'm just going to take a walk up and go and see what he's up to there's a mess over here because we've got all the kitchen equipment fittings they've got to come and fit the kitchen and we've got to walk through these narrow spaces So into my bedroom. Okay. So this is Oliver, everybody. That's it. And he is the carpenter. And he is going to tank the walls for the shower and get the ready for tiling. And yeah, I'm excited. We're moving forward in the bathroom now. And then we will start with um, getting the plumbing done. S Steve will be arriving on the 5th of the 4th or the 5th of September and Oliver will be in between fixing up all the things and I'll share it with you as we go along. So this is making me a little bit happier now and he speaks English everybody. Uh, Over here. So we're going to put the doors in. Exactly. Yeah, I just want to tell them why. So, when I moved here, I'll show you. This is the second floor. I'm going down from the second floor. Here was all closed, and there was a door there, and it blocked all this light coming in. And now, I'm putting to so that the cold in winter doesn't come down. So we're blocking up doors here and doors here. Because that side I'm going to make another flat up there. And then this I'm going to use as some sort of room. Maybe it, one day as a cinema room or whatever we want to do here or use it in arts and crafts room at the moment. So this room, I've got to get all this machinery that was left in here from God knows when they came. And I don't know what it's for. Maybe, Oliver, do you know? Have you looked at all this machinery in here? Oh, that's an old sewing machine. That one there? A sewing machine. A stitching machine to make things, leather. So that must be an old leather stitching machine. And then here's a workbench in here that I want to try and get out and put in the atelier. Mm -hmm. 
And then we found a whole lot of old machines down the bottom over there. So, and what we discovered was two of these wood burners. Aren't they cute? I'm going to renovate them and just put them in fireplaces that aren't being used. And here's another one. They are so gorgeous. So yeah, that's what I've discovered upstairs when we started cleaning out everything. But I think things are coming along. Now that Oliver's here, quite happy with that. Thank you, Oliver, for all your work. And it's great speaking English to you. <laughs> so we'll leave Oliver now to get on with what he's doing. And this is Oliver's workshop. He's just set up his portable workshop and he's working in the garden. It's a cloudy day, but we're not expecting any rain. So he's safe to work out here. Well done on you. Thanks, Oliver. Brigitte, please tell me in English what you're doing. I'm painting. Where, what are you painting? What My bathroom. So is it the first or second coat you're painting? It's the first coat. Wonderful. Are you excited? Yeah. You can't wait to move into your bathroom. And here I put wallpaper the same like in the bedroom. Wow. That's going to be exciting. And here, there, white or rose. I think rose would be nice. Yeah, yeah, me too. I think rose and here, rose. Wallpaper. Here. Here, wallpaper, there and there. Okay. With roses. With roses. With roses. She loves, do you love roses? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you do love roses yeah. because you love flowers as well, just as much as I do. That's amazing. And now it's well, work is finished. Are you finished now? You yeah, do it in the morning. She starts in the morning early and then she potters around in her room. And I, I was painting there. You're, ah, yes, you were painting in the wardrobes here. That looks nice. It's starting to look nice. And that is the, it's a soft, gentle colour of pink that she's painting all the doors and the skirting boards. They're going to put the skirtings there and along there. And then she's painting putting a mural of roses over there which is chosen and the rest of the walls will be in the in the white or the pink ro uh, rosa uh, what color are you painting the walls Bridget white. white that'll look so beautiful and the ceiling will be painted white with rose around the edges so oh it's looking lovely wow it's going to be nice this room of hers okay guys in the kitchen this is what we are putting against this wall there's the door that leads out to the garden that's a storeroom over there for brooms and everything <clears throat> and then on this wall here we are painting a light blue and all the trimmings will be white a very light blue and I'll show you in the in a photograph of what the colors we've chosen and this is a drawing of what we are doing and I'll put at the end the pictures in detail so it's going to be blue inside and the color blues are all going to be inside over there inside there and along there and there and and down there I know I think there's covered doors so they're going to be blue but we'll see what we're going to do and that's going to go up higher and this is what it's going to look like and then if we go to the opposite side over here this is what we are planning on doing over here. I better get this done for you because the light is taking effect. So against this wall, I have to move around here. So 
So against that wall, underneath the window, we are having cabinets and the doors that open to the right and the wash basin. Is what we're going to do. And on this wall over here, which leads to the back kitchen, so let me just step back here. It's all for the furniture here. That's the back, the door leading to the back kitchen, and this whole wall here is going to have this design put on it. And I'll, at the end, I'll have the photograph, the these pictures up so that you can look at them exactly and the color schemes so these are the pictures that Bridget has drawn for us and the floors are going to be in a mahogany color so that when you're coming in from outside and the dirt and everything it's easier to clean than having pale colored floors but we'll look at it as we go along that's the plan. At the moment, this cabinet here is coming over here, and next to it will be an American fridge freezer. And then we've also got storage in this big wardrobe over here, floor to, floor to ceiling. The ceilings will be painted a light blue, and the appliques are going to be white with a little touch of gold in it just to give it a bit of bling and then in the middle we've got the exact same table that matches these and they're going to all be painted white we'll be in the middle with benches on either side so that we can sit out here and have the doors wide open and it'll be a pleasant kitchen to be that's the plan for the moment but I'll keep you updated as we go along. I hope you've enjoyed the vlog, giving you some updates of what's been happening in the last week at the Chateau. Um, I've really enjoyed putting it together and um, hopefully next week we'll have some more fun and games. Um, the bedroom and the bathroom I haven't done yet for you as the workmen have been working in there most of the week and I just didn't want to bother them and start filming around them. So I've left them to carry on with what they need to do in the bathrooms and the bedroom. So yeah, um, I will also want to thank everybody for watching. And if you like, if you'd like to to donate to to the Chateau renovation at Buy Me a Coffee, the link is in my details below. So if you'd like to donate on Buy Me a Coffee, I'd be very grateful and I'll use the money for the garden or in the house for renovations to share everything that I'm doing here with you at the present moment. So please enjoy your week ahead of you and I'll catch you in the next vlog. Bye for now.